I promise you, if you're a day trader and you watch this video, everything that I lay out in this video, by the end of it, you'll become more profitable than you are now. This video single-handedly will go over the reason why 70 to 80% of people are unprofitable and the reason why I have an 85% win rate. You are currently in the game of trading and you can either take the four steps to stay alive and complete the game and complete the last one to win the entire game. But if you fall off one of your steps the game is over all of that time you wasted all that sacrifice all gone forever say goodbye to that time freedom the money freedom and getting that dream life that you ever wanted in this video i'm going to be breaking down the four steps needed in order to complete the game of trading and the final step is key to winning this game if you're tired of breaking even losing trades or just not where you want to be with trading you joined all these discords courses none of this is working because to be honest all that information out there on youtube is just so big basic and i was once in your shoes i wish i had this video when i first got started or along my journey because that would have made me so much more profitable but if that's you this video is perfect for you so here's step one of winning the game of trading and this is exactly what i do every single trade a lot of people tend to skip quote unquote the fundamentals of trading because they think they already know them but in reality if you actually knew the fundamentals you would have an 85 percent win rate and actually be profitable i was once in the same level as you guys but once this one experience happened, everything changed for the better. I would go from having a great week. By the end of the week, I would absolutely kill my entire account. I was literally taking any single trade. I would revenge trade. I would emotionally trade every single thing that came along my way. This level looks good. I'm just going to take it. This level looks good. I'm just going to take it. And in reality, none of them were actually the best setups. So I started wondering to myself, how in the world can I make my win rate higher than it is and to be more profitable than I already was at at the time because I'd be profitable and then I would fail. I'd be profitable and then I'd be failing. How can I get profitable in this current situation? So I looked back and saw what I was actually doing wrong and what I was doing right. And it comes to find out the trades that I actually planned for was my most profitable trades. And then I started getting consistent. The reason why I was so consistent is because I stopped taking those B setups, those C setups, and I started only taking the best trades. I actually traded a lot less and I was actually way more profitable. How does that work? Because I was only taking the best and I left the rest. Only A plus setups. Now, most people think more trades equals more money. That's just not the case. Now, the game of trading starts off basic. Executing flawless A plus setups. Like a skilled player, you only want to take the best. Now, the real question is, how do you even find these A plus setups in the first place? And what's the exact strategy on the execution side of taking those A plus setups? The market is constantly changing. The market conditions are always different day in and day out. So how do you even be consistent in that if the market's always changing? So in this video, we're not gatekeeping here. And I'm going to tell you guys exactly how I was able to make over 1.5 million from just trading alone. Now, I love to use analogies. And I think this is a perfect example of this. The market's always changing. The market conditions is always changing, right? So is the weather. Think about trading in this instance, taking A plus setups. Think of it exactly as the weather. The weather outside is not always sunshine and rainbows, especially where I'm I'm at it's raining snowing or it's nice and sunny out now the chance of you dying in a car crash is a lot higher when it's raining and when it's snowing out the most probable chance of you not getting into a car crash is when it's clear skies so that's the same thing with trading you only want to drive when it's nice and sunny out or you have a less probability of a survival rate when you're driving now this might be an extreme example everyone knows the a plus setups and their emotions allow them to judge it a little bit differently than and what they logically think you need to start thinking logically because you already know the a plus setup only take these certain key levels and leave the other key levels there if you don't want to force a trade you don't want to take these okay levels you know what the best levels are but you choose to take these okay levels because you're forcing a trade or because the market's not in that certain area yet for you to take that trade. But this is only step one of staying alive in the game. And we have three more to cover still. And then lastly, I'll tell you how to put all these steps together to finally win the game of trading. This next rule directly correlates to why you're not making money trading right now. So this next step will save you a ton of time being stuck through the pain that I went through. And it's honestly basic math. Do you actually know what a one to two risk to reward is? Because if you did, you'd be profitable. And not that basic one to two. There's a deeper meaning behind that that you're not fully 
understanding, which is why you're not profitable. So step number two is my bread and butter. And something that I mentioned a lot that doesn't get covered by most gurus on YouTube. In the game of trading, as we're relating this to a video game, this rule is like a combo to gain the most XP. It's the one to two risk to reward. And without this, without this knowledge, I wouldn't be able to make 10, 20, $30,000 sometimes in a single trade within five minutes. And before I dive into how and why it works, here's an, a quick example of me actually doing what I teach on the charts. And the reason why this one to two risk reward works so well and moves you closer to winning the game of trading, psychological impact that it has on your actual trading itself. It dumbs it down and it makes trading a lot more simpler and it makes it so it's more of a math equation than it is just a gamble or just getting in whenever. If you break it down mathematically, your confidence will start to increase because it sounds way more possible now than it does with your gambler mindset. Because if you put a one to two risk to reward, if you lose $50 and every time you win, you make a hundred, all you need is a 40% win rate to be profitable or break even. So next time you're trading, look at your average loss against your average win. What is it? A one to one, one to two risk to reward. You want to make sure that your losses are not bigger than your winners ever. You want it at least to be that one to one risk to reward, but one to two, one to three. I'm usually at that one to three risk to reward. So if your average loss is 8%, you shouldn't be selling at 5%. It should be at least 10 to 15 to 20% on average. Also, by the way, if you guys want to see the exact trades that I take every single day and surround yourself with like-minded individuals, link in the description below will get you right there. Now we're only at step two. There's still two more steps left. So if you don't want to fail at the game of trading, pay attention to this next step. Step number three, this will almost guarantee you to never see that game over sign on your screen when trading. Having your capital gone is a big nightmare, but this will literally protect your capital and keep you in the game as long as possible. Data shows that trading is literally 80% emotions and 20% strategy. And from this article, I'm about to break down each form of emotions that you must avoid to stay in the game. First one is euphoria, the feeling of intense excitement when a trader feels that they're super confident and they're just going to keep winning. The second thing is fear, triggered by unexpected market volatility. And lastly, the third one is despondency, which comes after the panic stages are over, feel like giving up, and you just feel like this is all for nothing. These all affect your trading, but this is exactly how I overcame every single one. Euphoria, it sounds crazy, but I would literally take a small loss on purpose. This is the stuff that you gotta do when you first get started to conquer your emotional side because it's not fully developed yet, especially with trading. So I had to take a small loss on purpose so I don't get too ahead of myself. The second one is fear. The more confident you are, the less fear you have. So I had to figure out how to gain more confidence. The only way to do that is to have a solid plan. And the last one, despondency, taking a winning trade will be huge in this aspect. And you know, everyone goes through this. But if you're watching this video right now, know that I went through that and here I am making this video. A little motivation will help you get out of that state. Now, let me tell you a story about me taking two losses. Emotions got so bad to where I would take so many losses on a day and I would try and gain it back. Revenge trade. Literally, I would take a loss and then take another loss and then take another loss and another loss. But what would happen if I only took one one loss and just stop trading after that or two losses and I stopped trading after that I would have avoided all of that because I was trying to gain the losses back but I actually kept going deeper and deeper and deeper it's just like quicksand you're trying to get out but if you just stopped and let someone else help you waited for the next trade that actually presents itself or the next day you wouldn't just keep going deeper and deeper and deeper so what keeps me safe and living the dream life at 21 years old with trading is step number three stopping after two losses on the day this will literally help you build the emotional discipline and realize that trading is more than just gambling. This actually helped me to be super consistent and allowed me to become way more profitable than I was. And trust me, if you want that 85% win rate, stopping after those two losses on the day will help in so many other aspects of trading or else you'll be seeing that game over sign real soon. But we literally have one more step left in order to stay alive in the game of trading and eventually become that profitable trader that you always dreamed of. Step number four is the most proactive form of risk management, which is why I kept it to the end before I told you how to put all these steps together. There was once a point in my training career that I would have such a high win rate and I still wasn't profitable. Now, Lander, how does that work? I would literally go two weeks without taking a single loss and that next loss that I take literally wipes out the entire two weeks of gains. And I know other people can relate to that. Just like the previous steps that I mentioned, my risk management was out the window. I would make anywhere from eight to 10% gains. Next thing you know, I would be so confident that I wouldn't admit to taking a loss to where my stop loss 
would hit and I wouldn't sell. Next thing you know, that one position goes to zero. And that wipes out the entire two weeks of gains. I was too confident. And I was selling after it went past my stop loss, which you can't do even by a little bit. Why? Because this literally puts bad habits in your brain subconsciously. You're not sticking to your plan. You're not sticking to your rules. This is how you're not profitable. You'll feel so much more confident in trading if you just stick to your plans that you already set. Every time I'm live trading, I literally tell everyone, this is my stop loss, negative five to negative eight percent. Do you want to be profitable? Yes. Stick to your stop loss. It's okay if this is my stop loss because my winning trades are at least one to one, one to two risk reward. And if I don't sell on this stop loss, then my risk reward gets all messed up because if I make 20%, but then my stop loss was negative 20%, it's only a one to one when it could have been a one to three risk to reward. Because we all know at the end of the day, no one has a 100% win rate. So if you know you're going to end up losing at least one of these trades, learn how to manage it. So now that you made it this far, you've seen the four steps that I talked about. Here is the secret to putting it all together to finally winning the game of trading. And I'm about to show you guys how to make a custom risk management plan so you can put all these steps together and practice every single day, making it impossible for you not to become a full-time day trader after this. But first, this literally depends on what kind of trader that you are. There's literally two types of traders that are watching this video right now. It's either you're trying to find profitability or you're trying to scale up because you already found an edge. If you're trying to find profitability, you literally got to stay disciplined. Sell at your stop loss. I know it's a lot harder than what I'm making it out to be, but if I had a restart, I would literally have that auto stop automatic. For example, the software that I use, DAS, automatically puts a stop loss every single trade. Even if I try to hold past my stop loss, it would automatically stop me out at negative 8% or whatever I set it to without me even have to canceling it every time I want to sell on my own for profits. And I think right there, that's a game changer because that was the biggest reason why I wasn't profitable faster. It took me two years to become profitable to learn how to stop selling way past my stop loss. There is your first issue right there. Now, if you found an edge and you're trying to scale up, just go for it. If you actually found an edge and you're getting comfortable with your position size, scale up, right? And this is exactly what I do. If I was trading with a $5,000 position size, I would double it, go to 10,000. You might get uncomfortable for that week, right? And then I would size down to like 7,500 to where 7,500 doesn't feel like a lot, but you actually just 50% your full position size. But psychologically, you're used to that 10,000 position size that now scaling back down to 7,500, you're like, oh, this is way easier. But you're actually 50 percent above where you're at with the five thousand dollar position size it's all a psychological game now that you have the entire plan to winning the game of trading none of this will matter if you don't figure out the mistakes that other traders make and learn from them so watch this next video to learn the top five mistakes i wish i knew earlier in my career to help you win the game of trading even faster